if I stopped you in the middle of the street and yell, hey you, instead of you saying, don't shoot, and I say, I love you, would you believe me? Why does it have to take a bullet to the brain and blood running down the sewer drains for you to even see me? And why do you read my first last name on the front of my driver's license if you say I'm sorry it was a mistake for you to believe me? And why does your officer in training blame my gun wounds on him being new but yet when the camera on his chest is on pause he's still teasing me? But when I desire to shoot back, you call it an attack or resisting this false arrest for you to lock me up for life for self-defense, you blame me? But a white boy can walk in the middle of a Bible study and shoot up nine people praying and yet he gets a tour ride or better yet an escorted presidential field trip to Burger King. And you still acting slow, acting like you don't know why we chant our lives matter, why you uncomfortable with our black chatter, cause this is a generation that you can't tame, see. Cause apparently being black or white does matter, sorry Mike, I can't take it, my brother's dropping like flies and I'm forced to just stand by, or like Korean, it just might be me. And you still buying vows like Vanna White trying to figure out why I'm the woman who always being called angry. Let me humanize my plight while you continue to piss off my men and tell them it's just raining. How would you react if your son was the constant target like there was a shoot me bullseye x off on his back shot down in these streets he can't even come back when you get a ticket and a fine in 30 days for just talking back cause you questioning why your son got gunned down round the back was too intrusive. As long as you quiet and smile while he takes your photograph and maybe your sentence he'll reduce it. What about Sandra, mama and them? I'm positive they wanted to break bread with her again, but she got murdered because the police displayed the nature of not the officer or a gentleman, just people. You say, don't gamble with your life, just comply, and he did so. Now you mad because we screaming the machine is rigged? And giving us free room and board in your privatized cotton jeans, better known as modern day prisons, because all the men's you throwing them in just won't work. We see you. So, before you yell, all lives matter, tell that to the ones who have been gunned down and no longer breathing. So no matter what you think you've gotten away with, you will end up in the same place as the rest of them heathens, wishing you could grasp the concept of all lives mattering, but the smell of burning and flesh and demons shoot you in your chest and you not being able to catch your breath or sit down or any rest or sleep or eat or poop or pee or stand all the way up or sit or close your open eyes in darkness, no opening your mouth, you can't use your lips, no stopping for no chapstick cause your judgment has started and it's too late for you to repent all because you pulled the trigger on a black life that didn't matter so now I guess we even